how to get unstuck with your horse. We know what it's like to be stuck, don't we? But how do we get unstuck with our horse? That's what I'm gonna show you today. There is a crucial step that you need to take first. This may not be what you were thinking that I'm gonna say here, but it is crucial. Have you ever had a horse that you just couldn't figure out? Or part of the horse that you just couldn't figure out why he or she was acting a certain way? I'm gonna show you how to figure that out today. I've dealt with a lot of horses um, in trauma because I have a horse rescue here. And over the years, a lot of horses have come through my facility. And that taught me a tremendous ab amount about horses and how they handle trauma. It taught me a lot about how to get unstuck. And it relates directly to us as riders and humans as well. And I was talking with a student of mine the other day. Her greatest fear was that she didn't want to do something wrong that might hurt her horse in some way because she didn't know what she was doing if she inadvertently hurt her horse in some way. It was holding her back from, from getting unstuck with her horse, this fear. She had a dream horse. It's a, I mean, a beautiful horse, a young horse, only six years old, great um, attitude, great outlook on life, a real super mare. And she wanted the best for her horse. Maybe this resonates with you also because you have this dream horse, you have this horse that you wanna do the absolute best for but you're worried about the embarrassment that you might feel if your friends don't see you progressing or if somebody comes to ride with you and they see you out of control in some way. The problem is not really as it appears. And usually with our horses, the problems are not always the way we think they are. They're something completely different. And so what was happening with the student of mine is that she wasn't giving herself permission. And that's the crucial step that you need to take first before you can ever get yourself unstuck with your horse is that you need to give yourself permission. You need to give yourself permission to learn. You need to give yourself permission to invest in your education with your horse or whatever it is. She wasn't giving herself permission to let that fear go. And so she wasn't able to recognize when something came along her, her way that was blatantly clear to other people, but not her, what the solution was for her horse, what her next step was for her horse. So this crucial step of getting this out of the way, giving yourself permission is what's going to help you to get unstuck. And once you've done this step, the solution will appear. And that's when you jump at it. Whether it's an instructor that comes your way, whether it's a program that comes your way, whether it's a course, whether it's another horse that comes your way, whether it's something you think about, your solution will, will come to you, but if you're not giving yourself permission, then you won't recognize it and you won't see it and it'll pass you by and you will stay stuck. We all know what it's like to stay stuck, don't we? Even when the solution's right in front of us, we don't see it. So this is the process to give yourself permission, and that is to connect deeply with yourself and find out what it exactly it is that's holding you back. And this is what I do in my program with my students. I help them to find out what's holding them back on a deep level, holding them back and their horse back from progressing. Now would be the time for you to jump on a call with me or my, one of my members of my team. I have a fabulous team that will help you to, to, to zone in on this, this crucial step that is going to help you to take permission, to give yourself permission to take the next step with your horse. And in this call, um, we'll work with you and, and clarify things for you so that it'll be completely clear. You won't be stuck for so long because there's nothing more frustrating for that, than that than being stuck 
too long with your horse and you'll start to improve and find that that mystery around whatever it is that you are can't figure out with what's going on with your horse will become clear and you can sort things out all right so thanks so much for being here everyone it's great to see you and i will see you next time okay bye for now